Callots and carrots are different things. Who told you that? Special thanks to Vaseline for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. <laughs> and today is going to be a spend the day with me, a follow me around type vlog, just running some errands, doing some busy mom type things. I just wanted to bring you guys along for a day in the life. So yeah, I just got out the shower. I'm getting ready for my day. My mom actually picked up Zaya this morning. Zaya is having a spend the day with Grammy type day while I get a little bit of mommy time today. Y'all, please look at how ashy I am. I hope you can actually see that. My wrist, my knuckles are ashy. Y'all don't wanna see my, my oh. <laughs> uh, I'm so ashy. My skin gets so dry in the winter. Like, I'm talking, you can <laughs> start a fire with my elbows and my knees. My legs are the worst. They literally look like I've rubbed my legs across a chalkboard, like used my legs as a chalkboard eraser. My skin gets so ashy in the winter time. But I wanted to tell you guys about this new product that I've been using. It's a new product from Vaseline. We all know and love Vaseline. This is the All Over Body Balm Jelly Stick. I love this because it is so easy and convenient to use and it is also perfect for on the go. So you've got the healing power of Vaseline, but it's in a stick and it's super mess free. You know why I love this? You know why I love this? Because of my nails. Typical Vaseline or typical things that come in a jar, I don't really like to have to dig my nails and like get things out of a jar. So anytime that something comes in a stick, that is perfect for me. Plus, like I said, it's just really great for on the go. So you can throw it in your bag, throw it in your purse, throw it in your gym bag, throw it in your diaper bag, because this is really good to use on babies as well. It's an unscented, you know, formula. So it's just good for all types of dry skin, literally all over your body. Oh, and speaking of being able to throw it in your bag, it is also TSA friendly so you can throw it in your carry-on as well so basically you can use it as a giant chapstick moisturize your chapped lips perfect for that also you can use it as just like a spot treatment because sometimes the regular body lotions just do not be hitting the spot for me in the winter I need a little extra help this helps with any type of dry skin or irritation or chafing. You just literally rub it directly on. You actually don't even need to rub it in or anything. It's completely mess free. But then what I really wanted to show you guys is my knees. <laughs> Please look at my knees. I hope you guys can actually see that and it's actually showing up on camera because yeah is bad so if you get specific like dry patches on your body this is really good to literally just rub those patches away and moisturize them because y'all know with vaseline it moisturizes really good and it lasts all day like right there on the on the bone part of the knee i literally get like this little patch where my skin like is a different texture because it gets so dry right there. So I just like hit that spot. Look at that moisture. So yeah, this Vaseline jelly stick is just really easy to glide on and moisturize your skin, especially if you're active, if you do any sports like boxing, swimming, and you get any type of chafing in certain problem areas, you could just glide this on to any areas that you normally get chafing and it'll just fix that right up for you. So definitely keep it in your gym bag, your purse, your dark bag, like I said, but you could also use this as a fly -away way tamer so I'm not gonna use this one on my hair because I probably would want to use a separate one on my lips in my hair but oh wait look at that glow see but if you have like a different one like if you kept like a separate one for your body and a separate one for your face or a separate one in your bag you know whatever you can get a couple of them they're available at Target and Walmart so just stock up but if you had a separate one you could literally use it as one of those um, flyaway tamers as well so like I said these are available at Target and Walmart there's so many different uses for them definitely check them out and don't be ashy this winter, okay? Don't be chapped and chafed and dry and ashy. <laughs> Get you one of these, throw it in your purse, and stay moisturized, my friends. <laughs> so, since Zaya is with Grammy, my plans for the day are as follows. I have a 
nail appointment because I really need my nails done. Like these have grown out so far. I surprisingly did not break any nails. This one is kind of lifting and it kind of hurts. Um, and they're just super grown out. And you know when your hair starts snagging on your nails, that's when you know you need to get them done. So I'm going to treat myself to a new full set. Um, I wanna try and get a pedicure as well because <laughs> You don't wanna see my toes right now. Speaking of ashy and crusty, um, but I don't know if I'll have time for the pedicure as well because I also do have a few more things I need to do before I need to pick up Zaya from my mom. My mom's only gonna be able to watch Zaya for a few hours today, so I gotta try and like fit in as much as possible. I'm already like running late for my nail appointment. I need a sweater cause it's cold. If you guys ever wonder how I get the stuff off the top shelf, I have a shepherd's hook. And I just take the hook and go like this. Ta-da! I also need to run a few errands because I need to get some uh, like Christmas gift wrap and gift bags to be able to wrap up all the Christmas gifts and put them under my tree and make them look cute. And what else do I need to do? I actually made a list because I'm being responsible. So let me check my list. Okay, so here's my list. I needed to get Christmas gift wrap some more pajamas for Zaya and a new lunchbox for Zaya. And I think that's it. I don't have time to eat breakfast, so I'm just gonna make coffee. <laughs> this is my life. Oh no, I need to add water to my... No! Always need to add water when you're in a rush. And I'm gonna be late. Oh my God, I did not realize what time it was. I'm running so late, but here's my outfit of the day. <laughs> I just had to show you guys this because who would have who would have ever thought that I would become one of these moms with my little UGG boots and my little leggings and my little matching coffee um, cup and my little cardigan and my little butt, like such a mom look right now. I really need to get some better, maybe while I'm out running errands today, I'll try and look for some better like cozy, sh like comfortable shoes that don't look quite so, I don't care about my life-ish, if that makes sense. OOTD. Okay, now I really have to go. Oh hey, didn't see you there. But I get this question a lot about like, what is it really like to be a young mom or a single mom? What's it, is it hard, is it difficult? Like, I think people kind of want me to like tell tell the truth like what's it really like being a mom is it really fun because maybe I guess from some of my other vlogs I make it seem like it's just so easy and so fun I don't know maybe that's the impression that you guys get but I can't really speak on you know anybody else's experience but my own I have my own unique experience when it comes to being a mom being a young mom being a single mom being a youtuber mom it's very unique to me so for me this is pretty typical for me my life is a lot of getting help from my mom and my family and my you know support system if Grammy wants to spend some time with Zaya if Maya wants to spend some time with Zaya I do take advantage of that opportunity so that I can go and have some me time every now and then I love to go get my nails done but then at the same time I still have to make sure that I'm taking care of my responsibilities and not just completely blowing off that time I do also have to you know run errands get caught up with work and stuff like that and do stuff around the house which you guys Guys will see um, later on today the rest of the stuff that I want to get done today so for me I just try to keep a balance of like having fun with it you know doing cute activities with Zaya having some me time getting my nails done you know keeping the house up it's just a balance of a bunch of different things but I think like I just personally specifically try to like keep that fun factor in there like it takes effort to keep that fun factor in there it's not just something that naturally happens every day you have to actually plan out activities make time you know have a movie night all these different things that I do but then some days are just really hard and really busy and really stressful and some days are just really boring it's just like really nothing going on and it's kind of just me and Zaya chilling so it's a mix 
hopefully you guys can kind of see a little bit of that mix through my vlogs I try to give a realistic view because I don't want to you know come off super fake and perfect and oh my god all the time like I want to show you guys a real view of like what my life is really like so yeah today is pretty much like a typical day for me in a sense but like every day is different so I don't know all right just pulled up to the nail shop just left the nail shop I made pretty good time I spent just like a little over an hour in there I didn't end up getting a pedicure and I also did not get a whole new fresh set I just did a fill to save time so these are my nails I got 5d cat eye chrome nails so basically they're like almost like mood like a mood ring type vibe like color changing chrome depending on how you look at it. I know this is a really random manicure for right now since it's like the holiday season, but this new nail shop and new nail tech that I've been going to, she does a lot of cool designs and she's been like putting me up on game and like showing me all these like crazy polishes and things and I've just been like really curious. So when she showed me this last time, I was like, I have to try that next time. It's not my typical style and it's really random, like I said, but I just wanted to try it. And like the way she put it on and like moved it around with the magnet it, it was just crazy it's just something I wanted to try just to try and I do think it looks really cool it looks like a galaxy it looks like you know I had her put a little shooting star on there so this is just my little in-between manicure to hold me over until next time which will be like my Christmas holiday manicure so I'm definitely gonna do something real Christmassy and sparkly for that okay so now it is already one o'clock I don't know where the day has gone but I have to pick up Zaya by like 2 because my mom has an appointment to go to so I have just enough time to head to Target and get what I need to get real quick from there. I need to hurry up and not get too distracted in there because y'all know how I get but there's a few things I need to get from Target and then I should make it back in a good time to pick up Zaya from my mom's house and then I just realized that I have a video going up today that I did not make the thumbnail image for yet and I need to do that before the video goes up at three so I need to hurry up and get home so I can make the thumbnail but I, I think I'm doing pretty good on time I think I hope pray for me Ooh, ah. so for Zaya and I's Christmas cards photos we're doing like a winter wonderland I want to do like white fluffy and gold to like match our decor. I already got Zaya's outfit. It's like a fluffy sweater with a skirt with gold on it. So I kind of want like a fluffy sweater. This is actually kind of cute. Oh, and I do have some gold pants. Oh, I should get this. The back is cute. $27.99. Is it on sale? Okay, so I want to do like gold and white and like metallic and sparkly stuff for all of my gift wrap so it matches my Christmas decor. I found this so far. Just solid gold. I'm not really seeing much else. Zaya needs a new lunchbox because her lunchbox accidentally got put in the dryer and it melted. So I feel like she'll like this one. She likes mermaids. Okay, successful Target trip. I did not get any unnecessary things. I got the things I needed. Some gift wrap, a lunchbox, something for my Christmas photos, and that's it. Oh, and some eggs because I promised Zaya that we would make cupcakes later today. So now I'm about to run through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru real quick because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day and I've got about 15 minutes to spare before I need to pick up Zaya. So I'm gonna do that, head to my mom's house, pick up Zaya, and then we got more stuff to do when I get home. Shout out again to Vaseline for sponsoring this video. I got another jelly stick that I keep in my purse because it's so portable and convenient for my ashiness throughout the day. So like I said, make sure Y'all pick up two of these, keep one in your bathroom, keep one in your bag, highly recommend. I got some food for Zaya too, and I'm about to go in and get her from my mom's house, and actually, uh, wait, what time is it? I need to hurry up because my video's about to go up and I need to make the thumbnail for my video, so, um. Hello, 
I'm in a hurry because I forgot to make the thumbnail for today's video. <laughs> you eating a popsicle? You eating? She gave you new jammies? You came over here in jammies and then just put on more jammies? I thought she was gonna put on clothes. She was trying to shave my jammies at first. She was like, I already have pretty pajamas at my house. I said, but I bought you some for this house. Mm. I said, well, do you want me to give them to another little girl? She says, well, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> Are they and beautiful? Put them on. They look cozy. But we gotta hurry up and go home because I have to do something within the next few minutes. So can we pack up your sandwich and go? You eat the popsicle in the car? Yeah, all your essentials. Footy pajamas, iPad, and popsicle. <laughs> Is this what goes on at Grammy's house? Look what I got you. A new lunchbox that has mermaids on it. One has purple hair, and one has sunscreen, and, and a fish. You like it? You like the color? This is not my favorite color. It's not your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't have a pink one. What is this back for? It's just different pockets to put put your snacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yes. Okay. And my baby too. Your baby likes it too? Yes. Well, good. I'm glad the baby likes it because I don't know what I would do if the baby didn't like your lunchbox. Okay, come eat your nuggets while I do something on the computer real quick. hand have to eat my lunch in front of my computer because I am a failure and I now only have a few minutes to create a captivating thumbnail image for my video that is about to go live. Thumbnails are everything when it comes to YouTube. The title and the thumbnail, those are like the most important things if you want people to click on your video and like if you want your video to perform well. So normally I try to make it a little bit more of a priority to, you know, make sure that I have a really good thumbnail, but I forgot. Okay, I finished this thumbnail and posted the video approximately 10 minutes late. I normally post at 3 p.m. I post it at like 3.09, but it's fine. Now I'm going to announce the video on my Instagram story and tell everyone to go watch it. Hey guys, a new video just went up. It is the vlog from when we decorated the whole house for Christmas. So if you want to see how we transformed the house, then swipe up to watch it now. Post that. Now I can breathe. Except not really because I got some more stuff to do today. I promised Zaya that we would make cupcakes at some point today. And then I also said that we were gonna do her little Christmas crafts that I got her, where you like decorate a snowman and decorate a Christmas tree. And then I also really need to reorganize my pantry. So I feel like I should do the pantry first, you know, be responsible, get that out the way. Okay, so I just put Zaya down for a little short little afternoon nap. So I can now take this time to reorganize my pantry. I did a whole video about setting up my pantry, organizing it, making it look all cute, custom labels. You guys can check out that video if you want. But since then, I have definitely accumulated a lot more stuff and it's getting a little out of hand. So I needed to get some more baskets and containers and stuff and just kind of clean it out and, you know, reorganize it. So here is the before view of my pantry. This section doesn't look too, too bad. There's definitely like some extra stuff that's like not in containers and out of place and just looking like cluttered. That's why I got some extra baskets to add in. This used to be like completely empty, but now it suddenly got filled up with a bunch of random stuff. So it just needs to be fixed. And also on this side, it used to be pretty much empty, but I'm starting to accumulate more stuff and I just need to make it look cute. I've also got some random stuff down here, extra appliances and gift bags, and this is where my vacuum. So I think I'm gonna try and arrange it so that this is kind of like the utility side, like extra paper towels, cleaning stuff, whatever, like not 
food related stuff. And then on this side, this is gonna be like for entertaining, like extra stuff that I use for parties and holidays and stuff like that. And then the main back wall is still just gonna be for the actual main food. I just really wanna do this because I was super like excited and happy when I first set up the pantry and I was just like so happy with how it looked and it just made me happy to go in my pantry. Like, I don't know, I love stuff like that. So now that it's like all messed up, it makes me really sad every time I go in there. So I'm like, okay, let me just make it cute because organizing stuff and having stuff all laid out and cute, it just brightens my day. Like my closet, my pantry, anything like that, my glam room. So I just try to take a little extra time here and there to, you know, keep it looking cute. Done with the pantry. This is looking a lot better. Kind of mainly looks the same, but I added more baskets and cleaned everything up. And like I said, on this side, I cleared it off, cleaned it up, and just reorganized it. So this is all of my entertaining stuff. This is pretty much just cleared out, but there are <laughs> all my bottles up there. And I just need to get some more of the black label clip things that are on these baskets to put on these baskets. They didn't have them in stock in the store, so I had to order them. So I'm waiting on those so I can just label all the rest of the baskets that don't have labels. And then I wanna get some more of these plastic Lazy Susan so that I can have one for this stuff, which is like sprinkles and icing and baking stuff. And then another one for this stuff, which is like peanut butter and other stuff like that. So just a few more little knickknacks to add, but it's looking nice and clean and organized. Anyway, I'm done with that and I'm glad to check that off of my to-do list. Did you have a good nap? I had to wake you up, otherwise you were gonna sleep through the whole night. No, I'm gonna get that dark side. It's already dark outside. The sun just went down. You wanna decorate your Christmas thingy? Okay, so Zaya is super grumpy. She's throwing a silent tantrum over on the floor because I told her that um, we're not gonna be watching the iPad for the rest of the night. She'd been watching her iPad like for half the day already. And I'm like, let's do a fun Christmas craft. I have a felt snowman that we can decorate. I have a felt Christmas tree. I have glitter glue and puff paint and all types of fun stuff that we can play with, but she, just want to watch her iPad and I'm like that's lame so you sure you don't want to do it it looks fun to me iPad. no so I'm gonna start on the um, snowman and maybe she will see how fun it is and she will want to join in I'm even gonna get in the Christmas spirit <laughs> wow very fashion you sure you don't want to do a Christmas craft with me? I'm no! This is going to be way more fun than just watching YouTube on an iPad. Trust me. Okay, well I'm going to start on it myself then. You said you wanted to do it earlier. Why you change your mind? This is way more fun than an iPad. Okay, with all the pieces. Got his little arms and his little hat. Some buttons, a random snowflake. Oh, his nose, come on, Zaya. Doesn't this look like fun? It's, it's a... There she is. No, it's the carrot, the carrot is the nose. The carrot is for the nose? It's not a carrot, it's a carrot. A carrot? Why do I have to say it in that accent? Cowets and carrots are different things. Who told you that? No one. Come here. You can put the glue. Do you want to be in charge of glue or do you want to be in charge of sticking the stuff down? Sticking the stuff and I'll put the glue. We have a Christmas tree and a snowman. I think we should move the snowman 
to this side so we have space for the Christmas tree too. A little bit of glue. And we'll put it on this side of the board. Stick it down. Okay, now you point and tell me where does the hat go? Right here? Where does it go? I'm gonna put some glue right there first. Put the hat right there. Boop. Okay, now where do the arms go? One, two. One, two. Can you stick the arms on there? And then I'll do eyes. Oops. And the mouth. And the nose. Is this more fun than watching videos? It is? See, told you. Okay, the nose and the mouth. And then I'll put some glue for three buttons. One, two, three. This is what I meant earlier about making time and making your own fun. Sometimes you have to think of little random things to do to spend quality time and, you know, take a break from screen time. Can't just be watching the iPad all the time. It goes small, medium, large. So put the small line right here. Okay, got the big line, big line. Okay, small line. <laughs> small line goes at the top. Those can be the light. Mm -hmm. And this one goes. Just the medium one. Take one. Stick it right there. It looks like lights. Ta da! We made you guys a Christmas card. This is our Christmas card, and we dedicate it to all of the subscribers watching this. You want to tell them about it? What's on there? Um, a mommy snowman and a Christmas. A mommy snowman? And what does the mommy snowman have? A pretty dress, and some lipstick, and some eyelashes, some nail polish, and a pretty mommy hat. Yeah, so Zaya told me to draw eyelashes, lipstick, and nail polish on there, so I did that for her, and I did the outline of the dress, and then she did a nice pattern on the dress, and a nice pattern on the hat, because she felt like the snowman needed to be a little bit more glam, right? And what about the Christmas tree? Can you tell me about it? Um, it has um, lights and ornaments. Ooh. So we glued beads on there to make it look like a string of lights. But the mommy snowman wants to a baby. But well, we didn't have a baby snowman. Well, we can make one. What should we make it out of? And we should make it out of... You want me to draw one right here? She loves babies. Okay. And she loves to make some yummy, yummy soup for her, for her baby sister. Her baby sister needs eyelashes and little, little tiny ponytails. Okay, so there's the baby snowman that Zaya uh, told me to draw. So she said the mommy needed a baby, so she said that the baby needed to be wearing red pajamas. So that's why I colored it red. That's the best I could do with puff paint. Some hair? Do snowmen have hair? No. I'll make some hair. That would be kind of scary to see in real life. A snowman with hair? How about glitter hair? <laughs> okay. So here is our Christmas card from Zaya and I to all of you guys watching. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Okay, it's later now. We had dinner and everything. I'm tired, honestly, but I promised this one that we would make these chocolate cupcakes. Do I want to do this right now? No. Am I gonna do this right now? We don't break promises in this household and we're getting in the Christmas spirit anyway. So let's make some chocolate cupcakes, even though I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> so the people that stuff. What stuff? And um, we got rainbow sprinkles, the last thing is the stars, and we got chocolate chips, then a little chocolate. Dump in the mix. 
carefully. We need three eggs in there. Big cracks and open it in there. Don't spill it on the table. Good job, put the shells down. Pour that in, careful, careful, careful. Chocolate, bate, bate, 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 chocolate. Are you eating them? Go ahead and pour the chocolate chips in there. Carefully, carefully. Ooh, now mix it up again. How many cups are there? Can you count them? Good job! Wait, it's just 12. How high can you count? What's the biggest number you can count to? 10. But you just counted to 12. Okay, let's pour it in. And then we gotta bake them. You guys, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna pour this whole pan of cupcakes without dripping any onto the actual pan? A perfect pour? Can she do it? Can she do it? Two more. No! No! I almost did it. Oh my God. I started getting too bold. Oh man, all the chocolate chips sunk to the bottom. So none of these had chocolate chips in them. Christmas themed cupcakes because we're just using up the rest of the random cupcake stuff that we already had, but they look pretty good actually. Is it good? Thanks again to Vaseline for sponsoring this video.